Classical power analysis are usually one of the first things to look at when evaluating the QEG of your client. It often serves as a basis for developing a hypothesis about the relevant deviances in the EEG that may relate to the psychological or neurological problems your client is experiencing. QEEG Pro reports contain absolute power, relative power, and power ratio analysis. Both absolute power and relative power analysis consist of discrete frequency bins ranging from 1 to 40 Hz. For absolute power analysis, both the absolute power in microvolt squared and the z-scored absolute power are available. Be aware that the absolute power analysis has adaptive scaling, meaning that for each discrete frequency bin, the plot is scaled between the minimum and maximum voltage within that frequency bin. For the z-scores, the plots are scaled between minus 3 and plus 3 z-scores. The power ratio analysis shows the z-scores for the most common power ratios. Both the relative power analysis and the power ratio analysis are derivatives of the absolute power analysis. It is unadvisable to use these analyses as a basis for your hypothesis without looking at the absolute power analysis first. However, they can be very useful when your client has very low or high voltages across all frequency bands, making it hard to see relevant deviations in the absolute power analysis. Download the QEG Pro manual for a more in-depth explanation.